I want to add a little addendum to the beginning of this video or preface, whatever, what the word I'm looking for here is. Either way, uh, so I installed this double den head unit into my Jeep. Uh, this is the double den. Uh, I originally got this screen that could do vertical or horizontal, right? So, and like Spotify looks really cool vertically, right? If I'm gonna. So, like, you can see how good that looks vertically. Horizontally, scrunches up a little bit. But the problem is, in my Jeep Wrangler, the vertical screen does not work. I can do it horizontal, but still kind of hitting against these. Uh, so I contacted Joing, and they agreed to send me out the smaller version, the 8-inch version, and the software to change it. So uh, the install video, initially I'm installing this guy. The The base unit here, the double den portion, is going to be the same no matter what. Uh, the only thing's different at the end, I'm going to have the smaller screen instead of this 9.7-inch screen. But the, the basic mechanics of the install will be the same regardless of which one you get. Alright, thanks. So here's the video. Alright, so we're going to install the Joy in my Jeep Wrangler, 2016 Jeep Wrangler. Uh, I have everything taken apart. So this is the Jeep wiring itself. So this is where the pack module will plug into. This is the wire to retain my console USB, but I don't use that. I installed this. USB port and cigarette lighter and it is this one so I will use that one instead this is the part for the radio antenna this is a Metra adapter it goes on to this piece of the Jeep which I have all taped up nice and professionally because I'm professional same thing these there's supposed to be these clips on there and I broke them off so I just taped them on there this is a GPS adapter I will link this in the description as well. This one will just reuse the existing Jeep built-in GPS as opposed to having to run the GPS module from the joining itself. And then this is my backup camera. So basically, it should be a pretty easy install. I will run the microphone first. Alright, so now we're going to use this microphone. It's pretty long. I will say it's a thicker cable than most of these microphones, I think. So it's pretty good. Now essentially, I run them all the same way. I was running up the A pillar, and then it'll come out in here. So essentially, this is my front door, driver's door. I'm just going to tuck it in here. Have this come out this side. So basically, I'm just going to leave myself a little slack. And get this guy started. It tucks in very easily. Super easy to tuck it in back behind there. You can see it comes out here. What I normally do with this, I'll just clamp it right on this guy here. And then point the microphone right at me because here is the factory microphone. So if you put it right there, it's pretty close to where the factory was. And of course, then of course you just tuck this loose stuff. You can tuck in most of that. I mean you can make it cleaner if you want it. I'm just kind of getting it installed now to make sure it's working. And then maybe we'll clean it up later. But probably not. So once you get it to here, and you get this panel out, you can just push it off if you have this open. If you don't, you can use a pry tool. And then just tuck this wire through here. need that wire to go back in here it'll come out this side which is a little hard to do with one hand so you can see this is the part from the outside and here's where I tucked it in there now we just pull it tight to get over this air conditioning vent and then when it closes it won't be any problem right So once that's taken care of, you can just slap this guy right back on. So 
Now we have this wire coming through here. You can just tuck it in the top here. Basically going under this piece and then coming through there and out this hole here. As you can sort of see, I have another wire running there. That's something, an old project that I don't use anymore. There's plenty of room here, so it's really easy to get that in there. And then you just kind of tuck it under these little flaps here, right? And then you're good to go. So once it's under there, you can pull it tight. And now we're completely out of the way. And here is the microphone. All right, and then we need to make sure we set this guy to seven. I'm just using a little tiny screwdriver. Probably not the best way to do it, but. So now you can see we're on seven, which is the one that was for other. Pioneer other. So we can take this sticker off. So now that we have that off, we can plug in the back piece to it right here. It only goes in one way. It's nice and snug in there. Now, essentially, now remember we don't worry about this piece. Uh, we should plug this into here and then the other piece into the join and it should be fine all right now for the dash install i need to use uh these pieces these are the metra 6511 and i'm gonna mount those so it will hold it in here join came with their own screws and said to use those I'm going to assume the word joining is on the top, and these guys de denote which one is the left and right, I believe. Yeah, the X, the R is right, and the L is left, obviously, so. I'm going to start with the right side, and it essentially lines itself up. If you use those little grooves to touch there then those holes will basically line themselves up it doesn't have to be too perfect because again it's gonna be back behind there so we're not gonna see it behind the 10 inch screen or the 9.7 inch screen so basically I just use these two screw holes the it's looks about right and then we'll do the same on the other side. So this side didn't line up as perfectly, but I think we're still gonna be okay. It should still mount here just fine. Yeah. One thing I didn't note in the unboxing, there is a micro SD card slot here. Uh, so that's cool. All right, so I guess we're ready to get started. Uh, what I'm going to do first the SIM card I'm going to run through the glove box and the same with the spare USB cord it doesn't really clarify one says OTG another one says so I don't really know which USB port is which so one of them I don't know if you need one of them for CarPlay or either one of them will uh, I'm just going to plug the bottom one into my uh, USB here and the top one I'm going to extend to the glove box in case I need it uh, for something else right alright 
and this GPS. There's a red bump here. You take that off, and this GPS will just screw right on there. And then the radio antenna will also plug into the hole right below it. And right next to it there's this hole that says mic and that's where the microphone goes. So this guy I'll plug in right there. And I don't have this other stuff, so I'm just about done, really. I'm going to use this wiring harness. The joining wiring harness has the camera input, so I'm going to plug my backup camera into that. And all I really have left is this piece. So let me go ahead and plug it into the join. That's this plug in here. It goes in there pretty stiffly, so I'm trying to get it right the first time because this doesn't come out super easy. Alright, and then as soon as I plug this in, I should see a light on here. Right there is a light. So now this tells me it's working. I still got to program it, but first I'm just going to kind of slap this in here. I'm going to put one screw in to hold it so it doesn't fall, and then I'm going to test the screen to see if it works. See, it almost fell on me. in there all right so now you're roughly in there all right so now I have this here uh, I'm just gonna assume this top guy is the top so we're gonna open these up snip this cord into here and just kind of there's a you can see that little dent in the hole there and there's a little dent at the on top of this, so yeah, so it should be this way. And if you push it all the way in, it should clamp these guys down. So now let's push them in there and let's try starting her up, see how we go. Looks like <coughs> we're working. I'm gonna get some AC in here because it is hot as shit in Kentucky. So, uh, first thing we'll do is check the radio. I'm in Kentucky, so 98.9 should be a station. <laughs> Alright, so radio stations work. Uh, let's go home. Oh, that's what we want to check is the audio. And let me see if there's a equalizer. weird to oh look I see so you can change the screen orientation with this little guy this I assume just turns it off and oh that makes the bar go away so that's good all right uh, so we're looking pretty good now let me go ahead and see 
it's got the time right, so I'll assume the GPS is working. Uh, let's make sure the camera works. It does. It's pretty bright, but it works. Uh, so that's an interesting little situation we got here. So uh, it's pretty cool. I haven't decided if I want it vertical or horizontal yet, of course, but we'll try it out. Uh, let's see what kind of live wallpapers we have. Just that Zen XG. So not a lot of options here, but I'll stick with the blue. That's alright with me. Now let's see. There's no physical button, so nothing for the lights to work with. Yeah, that's alright, I guess. Uh, so that's the radio player. Settings, I get my phone auto sense. It's on the USA already, so this is better than it used to be. It used to be, you have to always set those things up. They'd always be in like Chinese or Russian or something. Uh, let's see, more. Things the Amherst storage is on there. Seven gigs of 64, it's pretty good. Uh, apps. So like say I didn't want something on here, like I am not gonna use Gmail on here. If that's on here, I'll disable that. Nope, I'm just not on there, so. Uh, if you don't like that key beep, you can turn that off here. Now we're on Fahrenheit. Alright, so we'll uh, mess with this some more, but uh, just need to know 3368 is the password. Uh, so, sleep mode. Go sleep when they I don't know what 360 switch is. So currently it's set to join, but if I wanted to change it to Jeep, I could. I'm going to leave it for join for now. Uh, let's see. There's only one launcher installed. So you can see there's no Google account installed. It's currently on the May 5th security update. Not great, but uh, you can see the Admin Act is just the fan of my device. Uh, so. Yeah, so there's no Google account installed, which is good. If you want to do a full reset, you could. 3368. Uh, you can do a factory reset. Uh, I generally do that. I would just be concerned about losing the Z Link app. Yeah, let's go ahead and do a script. Alright, so now I'll do a full factory reset. sideways so it worked we did a factory reset Z-Link's still there. Uh, I don't know if anything changed, but I always feel more comfortable doing a full factory reset before I start uh, putting my information in here. 
Uh, let's see. So there's Wi-Fi. So we can just hold that down. So we can get on Wi-Fi around my guest network, Stranger Danger. But you can see if you wanted to do it horizontal. Alright, so there's a particular way. You go this way. And then there would be your horizontal looking. So it's pretty square. I don't mind it. I'm going to give it a shot in the vertical realm for a while. I'll try to figure out that micro SD card situation later. Alright, so what I need to do now is program so if I go to wheel key study let's turn that keypad tone off I can see about device, so we're on 8.1. Machine quick expense code, I don't know what that is. CPUs, Intel, x86, octa core, MCU version of 2019, 4.30. So Joy is very different than than the other manufacturers. Settings. There we go. So now, so I press up, press and hold the button the steering wheel to learn, and now press the. So this should on the left hand side should be my track change button. So I'm gonna do this one. Now press down, this button, and then the volume should be this button. Volume down, this button. And I'm going to play pause to be my VR button. And then the phone button. I guess will just be phone button. No, let's see. Let's go. Alright, so let's give it a shot. Let's go back to the radio. I want to try the track change button. And it does seem to work. And Heart Radio app. Get ready for season two by Vinci. Season and now the volume controls work fine as well. I try to not hang out. And then. We'll have to see if the play pause button works. And I'll hit the Bluetooth button and see if it takes me. It does take me to the phone app. So that's pretty good. Alright, so now I'm just going to kind of live with this torn apart for a little bit before I decide how I want it and then I will mount things accordingly all right thanks all right so I'll let this just be hooked up for a couple of days with this mess here I just wanted to make sure it'd work uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and tie up the dash to make sure it's not just you know all spread out like this so you know the Jeep's running I'm just gonna pull this off Take that off. Set it back here safely. Alright, first we gotta tuck all this stuff around. So I want this 4G to be accessible, so I'm gonna put it in the glove box. both the 4G and the USB I want tucked in my glove box so you just gotta kind of put them over this guy and through this hole there you can get to the glove box real easy I forgot that I hadn't screwed this in all the way. So I can tighten this up. So at this point, the goal is just to shove as much stuff in there as possible.
and it really doesn't hurt anything as long as you're not blocking your vents and you still got room and you're pretty good usually you can tuck these got the big stuff off to the sides because they don't really bother anything extra cords I'm just gonna kind of stick in here again when I'm if I'm satisfied this is gonna be my long-term solution I'll tape all the stuff up in a nice pretty package but for now you just kind of shoving it in there to make sure it fits now with any head unit I find it much easier put your steering wheel down take the air conditioning vents out and clamp your little cord here and then it goes on much easier All right, so now you have it back on. Again, with these, just make sure nothing's gonna get pinched in that hole. And then these slide right back in. And twist on. All right, then with your air conditioner, or your window vents, I mean, your window vents, your window controls, that just snaps on. Let me push that on. Now we'll put this guy back on. Oh wait, so that is a problem. It's like this will not go on with those vents like that. I'm gonna try to raise the vents up and see if that helps. If not, we might have to go horizontal. All right, so apparently it won't work. So this is where the single den might have been a better idea. Because with the double den, I can't get all four in and have it vertical in the Jeep. I'm gonna do that. So I have it as high as it can go now. And it's hitting the ledges here, so. You really got to raise it up high enough. So if I had the single den, it would probably work. I mean, it's still going to stick up pretty high, so I'll... I really don't know. I'm going to mess with it some more. Alright, so you can see I had to move to the smaller unit. This is the 8-inch unit. It looks drastically smaller after having the 10-inch, but I measured it with a tape measure. It's definitely 8 inches. Uh, you can see that's Spotify, but the home screen looks different and it has these lights on the side uh, that the previous one didn't. Uh, or you can see the the volume button physically working there. But it's the same actual head unit you can see. That's the double den that I installed in the video that you're watching here. That's the same micro SD card slot that's not a micro SD card slot. That car just stuck in there. I'm going to get a, something to pry that out. And I contacted Join. They said that was actually originally a SIM card slot. And then uh, they moved it to that little adapter that we're going to have to figure out. Uh, so it was originally a SIM card slot. And then they moved it to the other adapters. So basically, it's just a hole they left there in the physical design. And it won't be useful in this scenario. So that hole doesn't do anything at this point. It's just there. So yeah, at that point, this uh, that hole's just there. It doesn't do anything. Uh, but this is the head unit, right? And it's... I did do a software update to make it work with the different screen shape and ratio. That's not relevant, so I didn't show it in this video. But all the basic features are the same. I'm going to do a deep dive overview. Uh, but essentially, every, you know, still the same password, still 3368 to get in here. Uh, it's just a different look to things, but it's essentially the same features, right? 
and you know, I'll do a full overview of the device and features in a separate video and I'll go over the individual uh, things as well. I will note this sounds really good. Uh, all I have in here now is these four kicker speakers, the four kicker coax that people usually use in Jeeps, uh, like the 77 kick tins, I believe is the name of them. I'll try to put a link in the description, but with just those four speakers in the joining, it sounds really good. Uh, at some point, I'm going to reinstall all my speakers and subs and move everything to NVX, but for now, I just had those four in there. I took my sub out, and it sounds pretty great. Uh, I would say the quality of audio has really stepped up in the past couple of years from these Android head units. But uh, I'm enjoying it so far. Um, like I said, I'll make a full review later on. But you know, thanks for checking me out. Thank <laughs> you.